The University of Louisville is suing former basketball coach Rick Pitino for wrongful conduct and arguing that he is financially responsible for damages the university has incurred as a result of his wrongdoing. The lawsuit was first reported by WDRB. Comms Jason Riley. U of L has filed a lawsuit against former coach Rick Patino, asking for monetary damages, including money it will lose from NCAA vacated games in 2012 to 2015 tournaments. Mr. Patino, and not the university, was the active wrongdoer. Story soon pick. Twitter. Com. BZPGFC7YWY. Jason Riley. At Jason Riley Derb. December 13, 2017. In its lawsuit, U of L claims Patino admitted wrongdoing in an interview with a J. Billis after he was terminated. Pick. Twitter. Com. ZN2Ziatlam Jason Riley. At Jason Riley Derb. December 13, 2017. The crux of the lawsuit is that Patino, and not the university, is at fault for the multiple scandals the program has found itself embroiled in during his tenure. Patino was fired on October 16 in the wake of the FBI's probe into college basketball, which uncovered bribery, wire fraud and corruption across many of the nation's top programs. A man referred to in the FBI complained as Coach 2, which is believed to be Pitanoi accused of funneling $100.000 from Adidas to secure the commitment of Brian Bowen. Patino denied any knowledge of wrongdoing within his program but said he takes responsibility for his assistant's actions. Story continues. The lawsuit focuses on when Louisville was ordered to vacate all its wins between 2012 and 2015 including a 2013 national championship, as well as give back all the money it earned during that period after a woman detailed illegal activities that went on at parties thrown for Louisville recruits. In response, Louisville imposed a self-imposed postseason ban for the 2016 season, and Patino was later suspended for five games for failing to aptly monitor the program. The suit claims that Patino is financially liable for the money Louisville had to pay back as well as damages caused to the school's reputation by Patino. The university is also seeking to be reimbursed for any bonuses and other compensation wrongly paid to Patino during those seasons. The lawsuit is officially a counterclaim to the suit filed by Patino, who is seeking $36 million from Louisville. That figure is what Patino would be owed under his contract. But the university said that it does not have to pay the remaining money because it had good reason to fire him. Now, Louisville is not only trying not to pay Patino, it is seeking money from him. The counterclaim suggests that all of Louisville's scandals, including a 2009 one in which Patino admitted to having an affair with a woman who then extorted him, 